CM Sportsnet presents A Season Lost High School Across 2020. Brought to you by Carol Links. Good afternoon and welcome to A Season Lost. My name is Megan Woodward and I am a sports reporter at the Carroll County Times. With me this afternoon, we have Julie Moreland, assistant girls lacrosse coach at Westminster High School. We have Lauren Saltz, and we also have Reagan Davis, who are current players for the varsity lacrosse team at Westminster as well. And thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me this afternoon, ladies. Sure, sure. So what are some ways that each of you have been able to uh, kind of stay active, but also stay connected with one another, um, you know, during this time? Um. Well, we had a team app coming into the season where we all like put in our workouts, what we were doing. And even once the shutdown started, like for months after we were still connecting on there, like telling everyone like workouts, if we're going to go run and things like that, just trying to like encourage everyone else, you know, to get out there and to keep going. Because even if we weren't going to have a season like coming into the next year and even into summer, like most of the girls play club. So just wanting to get everyone to keep the stick in their hand and just stay active and on the field through that app. So, yeah. Yeah, we all kept in contact through that team app. And Carolyn Jameson, the college player who came in, would send us some of her workouts she did. And we would take pictures and just send them and show that we were working hard on our own. And sometimes people met up with, like, two or two other girls. And we just all had a good time working out. and sent pictures with each other. The, the team spirit was definitely there when we first got shut down. We uh, we stayed connected. We did fun stuff with our videos online and, <laughs> you know, doing silly stuff that the team spirit and trying to keep the girls connected was great. Um, you did see the little lull in it, but we tried to give the girls a balance between you know, still working out and being strong and ready to jump back on the field if we had the opportunity. But we, we tried to make it fun too, because we always incorporate that into our season. Sure. And I saw Coach Brown did a nice little senior spotlight uh, for a lot of your for a lot of your teammates. Um, mm -hmm. You know, how would you, or how do you think that definitely sent them off? Or how do you think that sent them off on a high note, uh, despite them not being able to play that senior season, but still getting that recognition uh, kind of to make it one and the same? I think it is the seniors. They they're looking forward to that. They're looking forward to their their final season, their season send off. It's what they've you know been working up to all the years, and uh, it, we tried to make it as special as possible. I think they had a unique send off, which hopefully they'll be able to remember that. It's kind of like everybody with their birthdays now. Whoever had the quarantine birthdays, you try to make it special, and it's it's definitely going to be one to remember. Um, so just just trying to make them feel as special as possible. Yeah. Awesome. 